Hi, I'm James, and in this video I'm taking a look at Civilization 6 running on Intel HD 620 graphics on the Core i3-7100U KB Lake processor. This is uh, running at the defaults the game loaded up at, at 1366 by 768 and the minimum detail settings. And once again, before I start, I'd just like to thank Intel for sending over a copy of the game code uh, on Steam for this so that I could test the game out. Um, they haven't sort of stipulated I have to say anything specific, but I, would, I do just have to be honest and thank them for sending through a copy of the game um, before I start. So performance I found on HD 620 very similar to HD 520. Um, going through the test, the average frame rate is um, around about 26 frames per second. Uh, that does vary through the test. So as we can see here, it's sort of um, mid 30s, but then that will drop off during AI turns uh, down into sort of the teens. And this isn't too bad. What you get is because the processor is juggling power demands between the CPU and GPU cores, um, during sort of AI decision making, frame rates fall uh, during sort of computer control turns and then come back up while it's sort of the player's turns. So we can see here we're currently dropping down into sort of 15, 16 frames per second while the AI is planning out a move. And then when it starts playing through that move, things improve. Um, for a strategy game like this, because it's all turn-based, it doesn't really have a major impact. You're still going to be able to play the game just fine. Um, obviously, we don't have a lot of the nice visual effects turned on, but if you want to get your civilization fixed while you're out on the road, or even if you just have just an Ultrabook or similar laptop, the game is going to be playable and you're not going to have any sort of major issues on that front. So, I hope you found this video useful, and um, be sure to check out the other videos on my channel for uh, Civilization VI running on other platforms, and also looking at other game titles running on HD 620, HD 520, and previous integrated graphics solutions. Let me know in the comments below what you'd like to see us testing in future, and hit the subscribe button if you'd like to see more videos as we have them. Thanks for watching.